We've been living in the midst of medical information overload, coming at us from so many different directions. And it can be a challenge to decipher, but there are ways to make working with your doctor and sorting out your health situation a pleasant experience. We are joined by Dr. Ken Redcross, who authored the book Bond, The Four Quarters of a Lasting and Caring Relationship with Your Doctor, to help us better navigate this important relationship. Welcome back to Live in the D, Dr. Red Cross. Oh, thank you, Tati. I am here to help clarify all this confusion <laughs> that we're having. So thanks for having me back on. Well, we all need the help. So but first, what was the inspiration for writing this book? Oh, gosh, everyone. So look, I'm seeing right now within healthcare, everything is becoming more about volume instead of value. And patients deserve so much more because guess what? It's all about you. So that's why I wrote this book so that I can explain the four things that are important. Trust, respect, empathy, and communication with your doctor. And if you have all four of those, Tati, guess what? You have a beautiful, harmonious relationship. All right, so then what is the best way to start having a positive relationship with our doctor? Well, look, the first thing I want everyone to remember is that when you're going to go to your doctor's office visit, make sure that it's a high yield appointment, that it's active, right? You don't just go there, hear what the doctor has to say and go. So the first thing I always say is make a list. And the reason why I say that, how many times do you have your appointment for your doctor in a month or so and you have this list in your mind and you get in there and you forget everything only to leave and say, you know what, I wish I would have asked them this question. The second thing I tell everyone, Tati, is you want to repeat what you hear when you're in the doctor's office. They did a study, and the study showed that you only remember 20% of what your doctor says when you're at the appointment, and guess what? Half of it is wrong. Mm -hmm. So the third thing I want you to do as well is you have to ask questions. You know, there's no such thing as a silly question. We remember that from grade school. So you have to ask those questions, not only to help with retention, but you want to make sure that once again, you're leaving with this proactive, you know, visit to, to let you understand really why was I there and did I get my questions answered? All right, well, speaking of being at the doctor's office, you know, you want to maximize it, but appointments have become so much shorter these days. How do we maximize our time with our doctor? Well, look, so you feel like it's shorter because it is. Look, the average doctor's visit you get is about seven and a half minutes, so it's not long enough. So look, you need to be able to engage your doctor to let him or her know, you know, I may need a little more of your time if possible. I also tell patients, here's a little trick that I'm only gonna tell you guys two things number one get the first appointment of the day or the last appointment of the day the first appointment because you have us we're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and ready to go and at the end of the day we are there to focus on you before we leave that's true very true dr red cross thank you so much for the great information and joining us this morning oh uh, thank you toddy take care everyone and stay well